Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Chris ZT and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys quite possibly the best build I have ever seen in 2K history. All right, hear me out. So on my last build video, the center, you guys basically were saying, can this build really be comped with zero playmaking badges? The answer is yes, but this build takes it up to a whole nother level. Now, this isn't exactly a Nikola Jokic build, but this is basically just what I wanted to do with the build. I just wanted to make him look like Jokic, even though he doesn't look like Jokic. You guys understand. Um, so this build is absolutely crazy. It is a power forward six foot eight. I'm going to show you guys the stats. Like I said, this build is absolutely unbelievable. All right. So you're going to want to go power forward six foot eight minimum weight. Once again, this isn't exactly a Nikola Jokic build. I know he's on the thumbnail. I just think that, you know, it's a playmaking center that can shoot, you know, play a little bit of defense. It's quick. Obviously, Jokic isn't quick, but, you know, it's a playmaking center or it's a playmaking power forward. So that's kind of what I was going for. So you're going to want to max out the wingspan. Also, obviously, body shape doesn't really matter. I go burly because, you know, I just felt like it's so 210 right there. And now for the attributes, this build is absolutely insane. Watch this. All right. So first of all, you're going to want to max out your driving lane to a 93, your driving lane to a 95, your standing lane to a 93, and you have 21 finishing badges. Now, for the shooting, I'm going to give you guys two variations of this build because I did see this on Twitter, so shout out to the guy. I'm going to put a picture up on the screen of the guy's tweet. I got this build from him, so go follow him on Twitter. This guy is an absolute legend for this. So now for the free throw, you're going to want to go 35, and you have nine shooting badges. I feel like nine shooting badges in this game is perfectly good enough to shoot. You get gold deep threes, gold green machine, and uh, gold catch and shoot, or gold hot zone hunter, whatever you want to use. All right. Now, for the playmaking, I feel like this is the best part of the build. You guys said on the last video that it has zero playmaking. Now, we're going to step it up a notch. What you're going to want to do is max all of this out for a grand total of 27 playmaking badges. You get 27 playmaking badges. That is good enough for Hall of Fame Dimer, Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, Hall of Fame Floor General, Hall of Fame Downhill, uh, Gold Quick First Step. I believe you get Hall of Fame Quick First Step on this build at like 90 something overall after you get to 95. I'm not sure about that. Now, for my opinion, the best part of the build, the defense. So you're going to want to max all of these out, put that to an 84 because you still get Hall of Fame Interceptor, and then max out your block, max out your offensive rebound, and max out your defensive rebound. Now, for an even better part of the build, you're going to want to max out the speed, acceleration, put your vertical all the way up, put your stamina to a 91, and then put your speed until, or excuse me, your strength until you can, and boom, there's the build. 21, 9, 27, 28. That badge count comes down to a total of 85 badges. 85 badges you have to unlock in this game. Now I'm going to show you guys another variation of the build that gets you a little bit more shooting. It'll have 12 shooting and a little bit less playmaking, but this build, it's still very good. Once again, shout out to the same guy I was just talking about. So what we're going to do is once again, max out the finishing to the same as we did last time to have that 21. Now this is the one with more shooting badges. If you guys want a little bit more shooting badges, which I completely understand, go to a 54 free throw and you have 12 shooting badges. That's a little bit better. I know 27 Flame King seems a little bit OD, but you know, I like the 27 Flame King and I think with the nine shooting badges, you can green it pretty much every single shot. All that matters in this game, boys, is deep threes. You have deep threes, you can green every single shot. That's how this game works. This isn't current gen. You can literally green every single shot. Now, for the pass accuracy, this build only gets an 80. So if you want to play rec center, it's not quite as good. I really like the 92 pass accuracy. It's absolutely insane. Obviously, the Hall of Fame bullet passer also. Like I said on the last video, you guys said that that build couldn't pass. Now, the build that I showed you before this can pass like absolutely insane. Now, once again, for the defense, put your perimeter defense up to an 87. Put your steal to an 80 and then max out everything else put the block all the way up put the offensive and defensive rebound you get 27 defensive badges now for the physicals obviously put all of these like that max out the vertical put the stamina to a 91 because trust me the physicals the plus four will be fixed now for the strength you could put that to a 67 or you could leave it to like a 62 and you still get gold brick wall keep that in mind and you could upgrade the steel to an 81 and then uh i don't know max out your standing dunk and then put your strength up by uh, one, and then you okay, stamina, boom. There you go. So that's the build right there. Um, 21, 12, 16, 27. If you want to go for a more, you know, a shooting type of uh, build, I suggest making this one. Um, it is very good, but like I said, I made the previous build 
and that build is absolutely insane like I've been playing Wreck with it. It never messes up a pass. It grabs every single rebound. It makes a lot of shots. And obviously, you have a 95 driving dunk. So, you know, what else do you need on this build? So, I'm going to show you guys the badges on the other build I'm going to be using once it's maxed out. All right. A lot of you guys have been saying that also in the comments that interior defense matters in this game. Um, it really doesn't. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Everything in this game comes out to that right there. The block rating is your shot contest in this game. Keep that in mind. Also, this build gets Hall of Fame Intimidator. It gets gold clamps. This build is absolutely crazy. Interior defense does nothing in this game. Trust me on that. I played this game so much. I'm, all, I'm almost a superstar one. Please believe me when I say this. Try not to argue with me. Interior defense does nothing in this game. It was confirmed by Mike Wang. I don't know where. I'm, I saw it on Twitter, so if I can find it, I will put it in the comment section. But trust me, it was confirmed by Mike Wang. And yeah, just trust me on that. All right, so I'm going to show the takeovers real quick. This is what I went with right here. Box out wall primary and limitless range as secondary. Now, if I could remake this build right now or if I had the Mamba Mentality match, which they did fix, by the way. They fixed the Mamba Mentality match finally. So what I would do if I was you guys is put limitless first and then put box out wall. But this is how I went with my current build. So now I'm going to show you guys the badge layout. Plus, look at the name on the build. Playmaking three level score. A lot of people are three level scores and all that. Playmaking three level score is a cool name. Your shades of Chris Webber, Giannis, and Anthony Davis. This build is crazy. So now I'm going to move on to the badges. I'm going to show you guys. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, so real quick, I'm going to configure all of the badges that I'm going to be using. Basically, this is probably what I want to use. Hall of Fame Posterizer, Hall of Fame Heat Seeker, um, probably Lob City Finisher on Hall of Fame, Rise Up on Hall of Fame. Not, did not want to put Highlight Film on. By the way, Highlight Film is a horrible badge. I don't advise using it. So now I have one more badge to put on, one more gold badge. I don't want Back Down Punisher all the way. Probably a Fearless Finisher or something because you don't need Giant Slayer and Slithery Finisher um does not give you contact dunks don't use slithery finisher if you want contact dunks. so yeah that's basically probably what is my finishing badge is going to be rise up hall of fame hall of fame velocity finisher hall of fame posterizer hall of fame heat seeker um silver back down punisher and gold fearless finisher um yeah looks good all right so now for my shooting this is what i can work with with the nine shooting badges obviously the gold deep threes you need that for maximum range silver hot zone hunter silver green machine and silver hot shot i think this is pretty good unless you want to lower your green machine from a uh, silver to a bronze and then put hot shot to a gold. Now, obviously, you have nine shooting badges, so it's kind of hard to work with. And once I hit legend, this build is going to be absolutely crazy. But right now, this is probably what I'm going to go with because hot shot on gold gets takeover in uh, two shots. Two shots if you have limitless take as primary. So I highly advise using it. But if you don't want to use it and you want to up your green machine to a silver, there you go. You can do that. Now, I'm going to move on to the playmaking. I'm going to figure out what on earth I'm going to do with these 27 playmaking badges. All right, so I have 27 playmaking badges. It is quite a lot of playmaking badges, but I think this looks pretty good for something that I want to go for. So I was correct, by the way. Keep in mind, I am testing this build at a 99 overall. At a 99, you have Hall of Fame Quick First Step. I'm not sure what overall you will get it at. I will probably put it in the comment section if I know for sure. But yeah, for 27 playmaking badges, this is the best you can do. Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, Hall of Fame Timer, <laughs> Hall of Fame Floor General, Hall of Fame Needle Threader, Hall of Fame Quick First Step. I don't know if Needle Threader is really good in this game. I haven't really used it. Now, Gold Handlers for Days is good for ice sewing. I'm going to be ice sewing in this build sometimes. Break Starter on Silver because I do play Rec Center. Now, if you do not want to ISO on this build, you don't need handles for days. But if Needle Threader does not work in this game, which I don't know if it works, let me know in the comment section. That's a badge I haven't used yet. Now, Downhill Hall of Fame, I know for a fact works. So you're going to be zooming down the court in Rec Center or threes. But this is probably what I'm going to go with right here. So this is my 27 playmaking badges I'm going to use. Now for the 20 defending, give me a second. I'm going to figure it out real quick. All right, so this badge layout looks pretty good to me. We decided to go with Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser and Hall of Fame Intimidator. Obviously, Intimidator is a broken badge. We decided to go with Silver Box because Box isn't really needed that much. If I'm having a little bit of trouble, I'll probably bump down like my Pogo Stick like this. So I think I might do that because Pogo Stick in this game is not as good as 2K20. I think I'm only going to use it just to grab rebounds after contesting someone. We decided to go with Gold Rim Protector, Gold Brick Wall, but that is the max I can get on this build, but you know, that's fine. Hall, or Gold Chase Sound Art, excuse me, and Gold Clamps and Gold Interceptor. This build does indeed get Hall of Fame Interceptor, so you will be in those passing lanes absolutely going crazy. So, 
that is it. That is the build. 85 badges that you're going to be needing to unlock on this build. The jump shot is Dante Exum. It, put it into the jump shot creator. Put it as, you know, just pure Dante Exum on all of them. Go max speed. And that is the jump shot right there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Listen, I'm sorry for the last build. If you guys want that last build, it is still very, very good. I got a majority of my badges, but I think this build is just an all around monster. Like I said, 21, 9, 27, 28. If you want to use the other build with more shooting, feel free to do so. But this build is just an absolute monster. Like I said, Dante Exum shot. I love you guys, man. Have a great day. I hope you guys enjoy the video.